Okay, so it's experimentation time. And if you remember in my previous video, I did a review of a toner microphone and I was really floored uh, by the boom arm or the mic stand that came with the toner microphone kit. And I wanted to, I, I, I was, I was, I really had the idea in my mind, man, this boom arm is so strong, I can actually see it holding my camera. Now my camera, my second camera that I would like to have on top of this boom arm, or we're gonna experiment on today, it's a Canon 80D with a Sigma 18 to 35. So this is not a light kit. We're probably looking about five pounds, maybe a little above five pounds. So, oh, and it's got a microphone on top of it, you know, but it's a heavy microphone kit, right? So I'm just gonna use all the materials that I have to see if I can get this microphone, if I can get this camera on the boom arm and see what I can do with it. My main goal for this is to actually have it behind my, my computer monitor. This is not a big space and I don't want tripods all over the place. I don't wanna move furniture all over the place. I, I've, I've been going through all that. I just wanna have everything in a convenient spot so I can just access it right there. Um, so that's my goal for today, right? So we've got the camera, I've got this ball head mount with a quick release plate, so I'm not screwing the camera every single time. I've got quick release plates on quick release plates on everything, so it's in and out, no problem. Uh, we've got the toner desk clamp, the toner, the, the boom arm, right, sturdy boom arm. Uh, we've got this single quick release plate as well, and I'll show you why later. And we have this uh, it's called a microphone to camera adapter. So basically this will go to, a lot of microphones have this connection right here. This connection will normally go right here on the, the microphone stand, right? And then you take this cam camera mic adapter, you screw on the top, and now you have the normal microphone treading that you're used to, where I can put like a hot plate or put the camera directly on top of that. But I don't wanna do that. I, I would rather use the, uh, the hot plate. I'm at the quick release plate. You see it right there? And I can just put my camera on it just like that. Okay, so let's get this started, right? Uh, we're gonna try it with this first. So let's go ahead. Let's take, be good. We're gonna set this up. Oh no, that's upside down. Our first run, we're gonna set up on the desktop, on the desk. All right, oh, and as always guys, uh, the only thing that I spent was the eight dollars for this little for this little mic camera adapter, um, yeah, just to do a switch. But everything else I've already had in my kit for a while, so uh, keep in mind, keep that in mind. And also, I'll leave links to everything here that we're using in the description down below, if, in case you're you're looking to create a similar setup. Remember, if you if you, even if you don't have this boom arm, you can use maybe an even sturdier boom arm uh, for your camera as well. But Basically, we're showing that the option is available to you so you can be flexible with your camera. All right, so there we go. We'll set it in right there. Okay. We will straighten this out. Now, this is ready to receive the camera. So we'll take this. And we'll lock it in place. And there we go. Look at that. It's actually strong enough to hold the camera. We can manipulate it. I'll loosen up. We'll go up. Tie it out. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's bring it down. Okay, and then also we can see how it goes if we take this part. We'll lean it to the side. All right. And put it right there. Yeah, yeah. I can bring it back up. Oh man, I screwed it really tight. Okay, let's bring it back up. Okay, so it's, it's I'm getting, there we go. And it's holding. All right, so it works with this. Now, the reason why I brought this this out is because when I look at my desk and the, mom, the room that I have, um, I'm probably going to have to mount this from the back right and i can't i can't because it's a, the desk i can't have it like this and then like this because it's kind of hitting the wall so i'm gonna have to bring it down into the side and then i'm gonna have to find a, some way to kind of tilt this forward so this is where this ball this ball mount or ball whatever you call it uh this is where it's going to come to uh, come into play so i'm gonna switch out the quick the quick release plate uh from this and we're gonna insert the um the ball replete the ball, whatever this thing, man, the ball swivel device, whatever it is. 
we'll see how we can uh, make that happen. But yeah, automatically just using this little $8 thing um, and probably connecting it directly to your camera, you're set, you're good to go. You're pointing it, you're doing whatever you want with it. You know, and yeah, super convenient as long as you have a really strong boom arm. Okay, so let's, let me, let's, let's release this. See, I told you, super convenient. Okay, we're gonna take this off. All right, we're gonna take this off. Now, I, I didn't know this at the time, but apparently I didn't have to buy this but it's always good to have, you know, just in case. Uh, the ball mount actually has the screw adapter for this mount. So I got super lucky there. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that's on really nice, really good. Okay. Now it's, it's not stopping, it's just spinning and spinning. Okay, and I wanna get it to a position where I know it's gonna be like this. I'm probably going to lean it forward. So I'm probably gonna switch this out and I'm probably gonna adjust just the positioning of this to this way. Oh. That way, yeah. So when the camera sits, it'll be able to Yeah, when the camera sits, I'll be able to loosen this up and it'll be able to lean forward and I can articulate articulate however I want and it'll put less stress on the actual joints. All right, so let's shift this around. Let's move the U over here. And let's see how this goes. Now, one thing I can tell you automatically is that this desk is not secure, so I'm probably gonna get some wobble uh, on my camera. Um, but you know, that's okay. Uh, I'm just moving along in this experiment process, right? Um, we're gonna see how it works out. Okay, so I'm gonna put it sideways. Same as anticipated. I'll go ahead and I'll bring it up balance it out and now let's go ahead and move this bad boy so I can show you what I'm looking at uh, don't mind the dirty what should we call it okay so let's get the camera go ahead there you go, it just locks into place. And then I can go ahead and, and tighten up the arm once I have my height. Yeah, and then I can go right here. I can loosen this part and I can tilt it. And there we go. It's all set. Look at that. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, so it's all set. Really looking forward to uh, trying this out with future stuff, uh, especially on my son's channel. So yeah, so really cool. Like I said before, all the links in it will be in the description down below if you wanna set this up. If you already, if you have a really good, uh, a strong uh, boom arm, you can actually add your, you can put your camera on top of it. Um, if you have one of the cheaper ones, you could probably put your camera on it, but probably don't go with something with a heavy lens or a heavy camera, maybe a GoPro or something, uh, or something like that. But the option is there and we just figured it out, guys. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, go ahead, uh, leave a like, man. If you wanna see more videos like this with all these kind of experience, feel free to subscribe. Until next time, guys, learn, do, and share. I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye. What's up?